Good morning, kitty. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm about to enjoy my morning French press coffee. Those of you out there who love coffee, like myself, might have one of these. I've had several. They've been glass in the back. <laughs> in the back? They've been glass in the past, and they break very easily. This one, I got on Amazon. It's all stainless steel. It's just right. I'll let that sit for four minutes, and come back to it. So one thing I've been doing for a very long time, I'm about to pull the laundry out of the dryer is I've been collecting dryer lint. You might say, why would you collect dryer lint? Well, I'll tell you why. The reason, and here it is, the reason is because I want to make kites out of this dryer lint. Check it out. Hopefully you can see. It's kind of hard to hold the bag open. Can you see in there? Kind of. Whole bunch of dryer lint. Like a lot of it in this bag. What you do with the dryer lint is you, you mix it with some Elmer's glue in a food mixer, in a food processor. It turns to mush, then you press it all out, and you can ma it makes a really nice paper. You can put a leaf, a couple leaves in there, anything organic like. Once you press it out, it dries, and then you have paper. You can make whatever you want out of it. So you don't just have to make kites. You can make artist paper. You can make anything. You shred up paper and do this yourself instantly. But I've been saving this dryer lint because I want to see what happens with it. I want to, I want to see what that consistency is. Good morning everyone, it's Drayton with World's Greatest Kiting. Yesterday I mentioned the Kites Against Cancer project and how incredible it was going to be and I told you I'd give you some more details. A group of incredible kite flyers came up with this idea in a period of mourning for our friend Rich Comras who unfortunately passed away to pancreatic cancer this past year. and. Uh, just a few months ago, the idea came to some people to have a way and a search for a way to help the cause of not just pancreatic cancer, but cancer in general, people who are affected by it. We wanted to play a part in helping. And this is how we're going to do it. More than 30 kite makers from around the world have been asked to make a kite to help support two different charities, the Children's Cancer Center and the Pancreatic Cancer Fund. In February of 2018, at Kite Mania, a gathering of friends at Treasure Island Beach, there will be an auction. Not just any auction, but an auction where you can help participate in this fight against cancer. And it's not just gonna be these 30 plus kite makers from around the world. There'll be lots of other kites there for you to bid on. We want to make sure that everybody has a chance to help support this cause. And it's not just 
these several kites that we hope sell for as much as possible to help raise money for this cause. But there will be smaller kites and other ways that you can donate through the website and through the Facebook page of Kites Against Cancer. For the next several months, up until Kite Mania in February 2018, I'll be taking you on a journey with each kite maker and the kites that they're providing for the Kites Against Cancer project. I'll tell you the story of the kite itself, the maker, how they came up with that kite and that design, and why it's important for this project. If you guys want more information on this great project, you can go to kitesagainstcancer.org. You can also visit the two charities that all the funds will go to at thechildrenscancercenter.org and PANCAN, that's P-A-N-C-A-N, for the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. You guys want to see something special? The first kite is already done. Robert Brasington finished this kite up this week, and if you know the style of Robert Brasington, this is no different. This is a very beautiful kite, and the first one of over 30 that will be entered into the auction for Kites Against Cancer. Very excited about this. We look forward to telling you more about this as time goes on, and thanks for helping fight cancer. Well, everybody, it's been a long day. I'm here with my friend Sean. Look at Brown Dog and Sean. Brown Dog. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I love you. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. And happy flying. Ah! <laughs> ah. Brown Dog. What do you want?